good morning this is dr gondi kondareddy i would like to explain one of the project did by our students very recently the title of this project is mechanical characterization of sugarcane bagasse fiber reinforced polymer composite material so nowadays we know the importance of composites the composites are made up of two or more material mixed at the level of macro level so they are visible when we are seeing its constituents that is the peculiarity of this uh, uh, composites so nowadays they are playing a major role in automobile industry as well as aerospace industry because of its light weight and high strength so here the students have made some composite material uh, fabricated that material and they did some kind of testing like tensile test and bending test uh, in the college see now very few things i will explain about this project what actually they did it. i will show you uh, the importance of these components and what they did it. these are the introduction pages actually we have to keep in the uh, in this project report after certificate and the drawings and figures we have to show and we have to give and we have to give its uh, page numbers also at least it is always better to have some kind of report with 50 pages so here the students are writing about why a composite as i am discussing just earlier but regarding the history the composites are using for <coughs> human kind since long time the future is visible very clearly we have to use this material because of its light weight and high strength see these are some of the uh, composite made material fiber reinforced material that i am showing you in diagrams so it is just some kind of diagram i am showing so the importance is as i am writing as i am their students are writing its light weight and uh, strength so more over one more thing is corrosive resistance design flexibility dimension stability durability uh, all this of course it is having some disadvantages see here i price complex fabrication sometimes uh, inspection during damage uh, damage inspection uh, metal accumulation from the compound all these are there but we are using most of the times natural fibers natural fibers in the sense like coconut fiber what we are using nowadays as waste that can be used uh, bagasse is which is the uh, sugarcane uh, agriculture when we are uh, making sugarcane we are we are producing the sugar the by product the waste product is uh, bagasse that is used for making composites just to see here these are different kind of uh, fibers fiber reinforced comp composites see here these are different kind of sugarcane bagasse the material how they did it is uh, they are taking the material as uh, sugarcane bagasse here we are taking sapodilla seed cell powder so these are sapota powder actually sapota uh, seeds powder and we are taking epoxy resin so like as gum kind of material and a hardener so it is actually when we are fabricating this uh, it is a uh, seems to be a some kind of uh, 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 uh it is not sticky material now we are making hardening by uh, making hardening by using some kind of hardener what i am showing here so here what are the epoxy resins we are using here the students are using eraldehyde ly556 see here i am writing eraldehyde ly556 and the hardener is hy951 
different standard, different kind of uh, notations will be there for this epoxy and hardener. Epoxy is the gum kind of material to fix the fibers. Hardener is uh, the loosey material becomes harder. So we are using some kind of hardener here. The process we are seeing here, manual fiber process. So keeping layer one by one by handmade. These are sapota seeds and we are making the powder from that. You have to do it. See here, we are making number of specimens, different kind of specimens uh, we are the, the students are making, S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6. So each specimen is different co composition of epoxy, fiber, epoxy in the sense uh, whatever we are saying, we are discussed about the epoxy, the fiber and uh, the sapola uh, support of seeds powder. See, S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6. Let us say we are taking S1 model. The epoxy is 95%, the fiber is 5% only. So there is no presentation of uh, support of seed powder. If you are going for uh, some for S4, you just see 90% is epoxy, 5% is fiber, 5% is support, likewise. Now I will expl explain this process. Likewise, six specimens we have to make, make it. Six for uh, this uh, tensile test, six more for bending test we have to make it because we have to do both for all six specimens. So after pre preparation we have to keep dried for some 24 hours so that they have to get dried. These are different procedures, uh, mm, how they did it. We are getting the samplings like this, samples like this, sorry, not samplings, it is samples like this. See we have to prepare the specimens for tensile test like this. This is a specimen for a standard specimen for tensile test, 165 mm length, the width is 90, 19 mm up and down and middle portion is 57 mm like as we have to use in tensile testing machine so we have to make like that and uh, with the procedure. So bending test that will be shown like as this. These are the specimens uh, what the students are prepared. Uh, for flexural or bending test. This is the bending test specimen. These are the broken pieces, broken pieces. We are getting the photographs from the students. So experimental setup in the sense, uh, we know we have to do under UTM as well as uh, um, bending test we can do UTM as well as tensile testing machine or otherwise both we can do our tensile UTM only. So after completion of this test the results was placed by the students and showing the results. See six specimens are there about tensile stress, tensile strength uh, just see, six specimens, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just see, it is having maximum tensile strength, the fourth specimen. You remember what is fourth specimen is. We will go back and we will check it. Likewise, about the bending strength, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Here also we are having, of course, we are having maximum bending stress for this last one. Optimum is that fourth specimen like that. So, you, you have to present all these results. And we have to say about the conclusions and we have to write some kind of references where we are getting this all this material, all this knowledge and all. So we will go back and we will see what is S4 specimen is. I will tell you what is S4 specimen is. What composition of material is. S4 is, just see here, S4 is 90% epoxy, 5% fiber, 5% of support of seed powder. The combination is this. If you are going for S6, 85% epoxy, 10% fiber and 5% this support of seed powder. These are all weight percentages. This way we can complete the project, we can submit it and uh, we can continue this project or we can do by using other epoxy materials as well as fiber material like this. Thank you.